Hello, 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 my name is Act. Welcome back to Enigmatica 6. We are back here on my Patreon server. How is everyone doing? Hope you're doing well and having a good day last episode. Last episode, we got some HDP sheets and look at that. I've got 367 uh, of them. Um, very quickly, I've shut it off now because I don't need, I don't think I need more than that. Uh, like, I just don't think. And I've got everything there still set up. Um, if you go down here, all of this is still set up. I've basically just turned this off. That's all I've done. Everything else is still technically on. It's just the crusher that I've turned off. Uh, and that is just sitting there now. Um, so basically, that's that's what we've done. That's all we've done. We've got HTTP sheets. All good. Now, I, I wanted to show you guys something that I've been doing on stream. I Yes, yes, I do stream. I'm on Twitch three days a week. Thank you very much, just to let you all know. Uh, and what I've been doing is I made a pressurized spawner a while back. And if we look at how to make a, a pressurized spawner, uh, this is from Pneumaticraft. There we go. You can sort of see uh, mob, spawn mobs using pressure. Um, but the way to get that is... There you go. You need to empty a spawner, a, a vanilla spawner, which has been gutted by a spawner extractor. So there we go. You you put a spawner extractor on that, uh, and then you need to feed it negative pressure. So with a vacuum pump, basically, you feed it negative pressure, uh, and then it's a bit crazy, but basically it like it keeps spawning, like it super spawns the charger, uh, and like just everything spawns. So I think I did it with a spider spawner. Uh, if I look at a core, there you go. And then you end up with a, sp uh, a spawner core. You can see K-Spider, 100%, all good. Uh, and you get that. And then you can basically put it in one of these, a pressurized spawner. You can put a core in there. That needs to be like at uh, 10, over 10 bar. And then you can, that, that, that will just spawn. Uh, and you can make this faster. There are upgrades, so there's range, uh, security, speed upgrades, all of that kind of stuff, and you can make it fast. Now, what I wanted to do is get an Archmage spellbook, and you needed a totem of Undying. So basically, what I did is it was a bit of a a bit of a chore. Uh, I f we found our in our thing uh, one of these pillager outposts, and I. I kind of hung around until a guy with a banner spawned a boss. I got the bad omen. I went to this village here and did a raid until an evoker came around. And then this is basically like Ghostbusters. Look at that. You put that in there and uh, oh, it's there. There we go. Spawner core. You put a spawner core in uh, and you can basically, you can make an empty one uh, using thermo pneumatic processing plant. You make just like a, an empty one, and then you put in memory essence, which you can easily get um, by basically using a, a memory stick. Set that to uh, automatically absorb, and then you can just click it into the processing plant, basically, that you need. Uh, very simple, actually, to do. And then you get an empty one. So I've got here now, you can see there's 2% Vex and 65% Evoker. And basically what happens is, I'll, I'll sort of show you what happens. Um, whoop, there we go. Um, you, yeah, you can click these back out. You can see that's now at 64%. Um, if I put that in here, that is, I think that is still doing. That is open, so you, you can see that clicking up, bam. And there you go, that gets sucked in there. And now that is at 68%. Now. I did notice, because that you can see this 2% Vex there, uh, it was originally at 4%. I was trying to get those out. Uh, and, yeah, that always causes a, a little bit of a dupe glitch there. But basically, oh, yes, yes, yes. There we go. Excellent. Am I at one? Oh, yes, that was good. Um, there we go. So we get you. 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 Yeah, you were excited. And then you there we go and put these back in so this is at 64 percent you'll notice so that gets sucked back in you'll get sucked back in sucked back in sucked back in there we go lovely stuff and now that is at 75 percent so i was basically to begin with i was sort of doing i was i was doing this and waiting for it to spawn this spawns every 10 seconds it does one spawn at the moment there we go uh and you there we go. Uh, and it is it is a slower way of doing this. It's a slower way round if you do it this way round. There we go. 
Um, that's seventy nine percent. But it's it just it's quicker to empty this out and do that, and then put this back in, and put a guy back in. It's weird, and that's now gone up to eighty two. Um, it's weird, but it works. And there you go, some more memory essence there. But uh, uh, yeah, that's like an easy way of getting it up to like um a hundred percent. I guess is doing it that way. Ooh, he there we go. Um, rather than the other way round. It's, yeah, it's a bit odd. So that's, that's just a way. I just thought I'd show you guys um, that that is a, a possibility, basically. <laughs> what am I on now? 92%. 92%. That is pretty, that is pretty good. And basically, all I wanted was to um, upgrade that. And now I, you can see I've got one I've got one here as well, Totem of Undying, which if I put that on, you can see it's on my chest, please. But uh, I prefer... No, nope, that's not what I wanted. Um, I prefer just having that off, and then there we go, we can do that. So that is what I've been up to on stream. Um, just an evoker farm, basically. But I just wanted to try out the pneumatic craft stuff, essentially. And and we have, and that is that is totally working now. I'm going to put... I'm going to get this up to 100%, because why wouldn't I... Um, just for the funsies. Uh, whoop. Whoop. Put you back in. What you want? 91. Ninety-nine percent. There you go. That's as full as it can go because it's still that one percent vex. That's not bad. There we go. We've got an evoker farm essentially now. Lovely stuff. Right, I've cleared this out uh, because uh, we're going to start. We're going to start. We're going to start with some. Uh, let's put you there, and I think we can put you there. Uh, we're going to start getting at least on the road to some fissile fuel. So I need that there. I need that there. Uh, we're going to put you like that. So I immediately need a crusher. So input uh, that needs to be red. Output blue. Um, I need the auto eject on. Then we need to do this. Swap that round. Uh, there we go. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. I don't know. Um. Yeah. Immediately. 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 I need to. Um. There we go. I need to change this. Um. Because the sulfur that I have needs to be crushed into the dust, and then we. Can put that into the chemical oxidizer to get sulfur dioxide I like that okay um uh let's put since I've done that there like that I guess that can go there like that and then that nope wrong cable wrong cable yeah. there we go so that should be getting power yes that um should be doing that there we go Lovely stuff. That is all doing that. Okay, so now this should be working. Like, at some point, we should be getting that coming, uh, the crusher coming out, basically, with dust. So this is the first step. There we go. I'm pumping it out into that. Okay, what's the next step? If I press Shift-Q. So we've got that. Oh, uh, let me... Have a, oh, does it not even let me... Okay, input. Oh, are these, yeah, we've done that. Okay, fine. What do we need? Sulf, that gets us sulfur dioxide, does it? I should maybe put that in and let's let's find out. Let's find out. Yes, sulfur dioxide. Okay. Um, <laughs> then we need to put what? The sulfur dioxide in a chemical infuser. Is that... Is that what we've got? So, right, we've got that, but not in a gas canister. Sulfur dioxide and then hydrogen. Is that right? Is that basically what we need to do? Um, sulfur dioxide and oxygen to make trioxide. I, I believe that's the thing. That's a little bit confusing. Chemical infuser. Is that what I just saw? Chemical infuser? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, oh, and I've already... Chemical infuser is already there. Right, okay. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, is that another one? Is that the same one? No, that's a chemical oxidizer. Chemical infuser. There we go. Right. Man. Palava. Palava. There we go. This should be worth it, though, after all of this. There we go. 
that, that, right. Um, so let's put cable there. Let's do that there, like that. Um, that's items. This is... This is sulfur dioxide. I don't know. It says millibuckets, so I presume it's... Oh, is it, is it gases? Uh, oh, output... Hmm. Is that putting it in there? Oh, it's putting it... There we go, sulfur dioxide, right. And then I need oxygen, which I believe is this. Is the That's the hydrogen, yes. So I need more tubing. Do I have more tube? Tube. I do not. I do not have more. Uh, pressurized tube, is it? Yes. There we go. Bam, like that. Uh, so... Are you, oh, yeah, okay. Okay, 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 we can do that. That's that one. Uh, this is gases coming in the front, please. And that is, I need it to be red. Oh, uh, input dark red front. There we go, right. Yes, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, okay, this is, weird things have happened here, uh, oh, that's why, okay, fine, front, uh, oh, this, mm, man, there we go, yes, yes, there we go, immediately, there we go, sulfur trioxide, man, okay, 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 okay. Um, so we've done that. Can I? Oh, why are you not letting me do that? Oh, because we have to do... I've, yeah, I've done that. What? Oh, because you want water. Electric... Yeah, I've done that because I've already got that set up, basically. I've got hydrogen, and I've got oxygen... There we go. Uh, and I've got chemical infuser with sulfur trioxide. Okay, now I need another chemical infuser, and this time we need a rotary condensator to get water vapor, uh, and then put that, I guess, in with the sulfur trioxide. Water vapor, yeah, there we go. Sulfuric acid, wow, okay. Um, I think then what I can do is put, that's the blue, which, again, I'm not really sure what that is. It says just gases, so I presume. Uh, output blue, yes, okay. Uh, and I need the, what is it? Uh, it will be the chemical infuser, okay. Okay, chem infuser. Let's make another one of those then. Chemical infuser, uh, two more of those. Hyun, hyun. Hyun, bam, 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 like that. Uh, am I getting sulfur trioxide? Yes. So I need to put uh, water vapor in there. So I need to get the water and get it into, I guess, the... Hmm, how am I going to do this best? Right, okay, condensator. Right, let's see. Conden. There it is. Uh, huh. Like that. What have I not got now? Energy tablet, uh, tank, and another chemical tank. Sure. And then we have one of those. I'm going to put you there. And that should... Uh, fluids. Input. No, <laughs> and you're not inputting. Uh, do I have my configurator anywhere? Uh, yes, there it is. That does say input there, but you're not inputting. You're not inputting the the fluids by the looks of it, because that should be going. Okay, I need to have a look at this then. We're we're sort of we're sort of fairly quite making this compact, but um. 
We're not quite there yet. We've almost got a bucket of sulfur trioxide. Lovely stuff. Ah, uh, yeah. Look at that. Right, so this is this is working. Uh, so I had to toggle the operation, and then it's set to deconcentrating. So very important. So you can see the water there. It is making the vapor. Uh, and then we're using more pressurized tubes. So I had to decouple that there, uh, put all of that into there. You can see now water vapor, sulfuric acid. Uh, we're getting... No, wait, what's that? Sulfur trioxide, sulfuric acid. Lovely stuff. Wow. Okay, so I got that. Bam, I got that. Yes, uh, I've got the chemical infuser. Yes. Uh, and now I've got sulfuric acid. Okay, and we need a chemical dissolution chamber, and then we need to put fluorite into that. Okay, so uh, let's have a look. Sulfuric acid uses... Chemical dissolution chamber, yeah, so sulfuric acid, and I presume, yeah, there we go, bam, fluorite with that, and then we get hydrofluoric acid, is that correct? Is that the thing that we want, hydrofluoric acid? Yes, yes it is. Okay, so, uh, basically, chemical, chemical, uh, dissolution chamber, oh, wow, okay, that's a little bit more, um, yeah, I need to do more things, <laughs> more things with that and then I need to make another exporter basically uh, in order to get that going up uh, and into this so uh, that will be that there I'm basically going to keep trying to make it all like this although now I have made all of this like really hard to get around uh, because of that although you can always you can always do that with the um, the travel staff if you just you know sneak and click it will it will just kind of bump you beyond that so it's not too bad this is all still doable okay it lives it lives look at that we're getting sulfuric acid in there i'm pumping in uh fluorite with that and we are now about to get hydrofluoric acid there we go so um this was all done on the gases uh yeah uh, so you can see that all does that few okay so Done that, no rewards. Done that, no rewards. Done that, no rewards. Look at all of that that we've done. We've got nothing to show for it. Nothing to show for it at all. Right. Right, another chemical infuser. Uh, ah. Ah, right, okay. Ah, right. Now we come to uh, another thing. There you go, uranium. So we need uranium in an... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then to make uranium, wow, hexa, what is it? Uranium oxide to make uranium hexafluoride. And then an isotopic centrifuge. And then, okay, so uh, I believe I have the similar thing. There you go, with my uranium chunk. Then, bam, we can obviously just smelt this to get a uranium ingot um, like that. Uh, or... I can, uh, enrichment chamber, yeah, I can make it into an enrichment chamber, and then what do we do with that? Uh, and then into a smelter, and then do I, ah, and then into another enrichment chamber to make yellow cake uranium, then the chemical oxidizer to make uranium oxide, it then needs the hydrofluoric acid to make the, wow. <sighs> Wow, 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 wow. Okay, uh, we are... Oh, wow, that's actually pretty full. Um, so, I need more stuff, and this is now... Ooh, I can't... I literally can't get round to the other side anymore, uh, except going either that way around or the other way around. I should have maybe done that a little bit higher, because um, I can't get this way either now. I'm stuck. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Um, I'm not sure what to do with this. Do I, do I, do I put it into an enrichment chamber? But then it's the, the daft thing of basically, do I put it into the enrichment chamber to double it um, and then smelt it and then put it in the enrichment chamber again this time to do that? I think I'm going to have to. So I, th I need an, another exporter. Wow. Um I need another exporter, and I'm not sure how I'm going to do it this time, because all of that is on there. Uh, 
this is all getting a little bit like full of everything. So basically, I need two more enrichment uh, chambers on uh, two. Yes. Uh, let's make another couple of those. Uh, another one of those. And I need a smelter, uh, I do believe, as well. Not a sl a slmeter. Smelter. Uh, you, can I do the thing? Uh, energize smelter, yes. Oh, ooh, and I got a task complete there. So, um, so it needs to go that, 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 and then into the next thing. Is that right? Which oh, I need to maybe make the next thing. That would probably be another chemical infuser, basically. And that needs to go uranium oxide needs to go into there. But first I need to put uranium, which I have, and an enrichment chamber. Let's just do that. And that makes a little bit more sense. So uh, into the chemical infuser. So I also need another chemical infuser. Man, so many, so many things. Chemical oxidizer, chemical infuser. Uh, oh, no, I've got, oh, no, I need to make more of those. Wow, okay. So uh, enrichment chamber doubles, then that smelts. This enriches again. Yellow cake, is it? Yeah, should get us, right? This should work. Uh Get us that, and is that now doing the thing? No, that, there we go. Yes, uranium hexafluoride. There we go, that is doing that, that is doing that. It's happening, it's working. So I ran a cable under all of these, and then all of that. Right, okay, so we've got, um, that has been done. Oh, what, what can I not, I've got that, yes. I don't know why that was there, that's probably a little mistake. Uranium oxide, yes. Chemical, that, yes. Uranium hexafluoride, yes. Right, so we need an isotopic centrifuge. Um, which, okay, yes. Iso, man, isotopic centrifuge, what is... Oh, right, so I need more of those things, which I don't currently have. Um, no, I don't have any of that. I do have those. Was that... Yeah, I needed two of those, and then I need some more of that. I'm so, so, so very close to getting this done. That's not been too bad. Why do I have a random bit of zinc in the mix? Uh, I don't know, but I do. Um, this is not, like, been crazily bad. Um, but, yeah, it's a lot of... It's like a lot, a lot of messing around, basically. I don't know how my power is coping. It is actually coping. Okay, so I need to make more refined obsidian. I, I will be back shortly with, I think, I think, with some fissile fuel. Wow. This should be it. Uh, that, that, that. Okay, we've got the thing. Uh, let's go down. Uh, can I get to the other side? Here, that does that. That does that. Uh, I presume that needs power. That very much did need power. Uh, side config, put, oh no, this is item, no, gases. That's in, uh, is it a gas? I don't, what have you even got in there anymore? Uranium hexafluoride. I have no idea what that is. Energy, gas. Uh, items, gases, output. Oh, hey. Oh, yes, that's doing a thing. That is also loud. Uh, ISO. There we go. Are we getting it? Yes! We totally are. We totally are. We totally are getting. Wow. Uh, right, okay. So, how do I... Right, hey. We've got a t tank. Um, there are different types of tanks, and I don't know what the best one is in this mod pack. Like, there's the basic tank, advanced, which is a little bit bigger. What's that one? Can I make... I think I can make a that one. Uh, let's make a... Let's make a that one. Uh, what have I not got? Uh, oh. We need to go through. I think I can do all that. There we go. And it doesn't look like I can do that there, so I presume if I put that there, are you going to output that? 
Are you gonna up? Is that a gas? Is it? I don't feel like it is. Output on the front. Yeah, but it. Oh, it's because we haven't got a bucket yet. <sighs> How many buckets? To, oh, it doesn't say. Uh, 56 buckets worth. Okay. There we go. Are we, all, all, are we almost there? Are we almost there? We are almost there. Oh, exciting. One bucket of fissile fuel. And and you didn't you didn't output you didn't output but that is a bucket why are you not outputting this is gas but that's not surely a gas but there's no <laughs> I don't understand transporter config um why I feel like that should be doing that right like ugh uh if I just put you there. Right, hang on. What I've, that is on gases at the moment. You would think I need l fluids, right? Oh, maybe I. Hmm. Don't tell me it needs to be there. I don't really know, guys. I don't. I don't. I don't know how this works. Is that the output? Is that output? That says blue, but it doesn't say. I wouldn't have thought that this would be that hard, but apparently it is. Um, okay, but A, that. I've got that. But I'd, All right, output fissile fuel. Now, it's got it in a tank, I guess. So I'm guessing that's actually why it needs to be one of these. Uh, okay, okay. That is why. Guys, that is why. That is why. That is why. That is why. Uh, uh, advanced chemical tank empty. Uh, 20. Yeah, okay. So it's going to be one of these, basically, then. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, here. Yes! <sighs> okay, okay. Now that's all doing that. Okay. We've got it. We've got it. That's what, and this, this is all that it took, which is a little bit crazy. I won't lie. That's like a lot of stuff. Um, a fair amount of machinery just for this, just for this bad boy. And I don't, I've got to say, I literally do not know how the next bit works. So we've got that. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Look at that. All of that done today so that next episode we can start work. Well, we won't be doing all of that, but we'll be starting to work on the middle section. Phew. That was heavy-handed. I, I deserve a biscuit. I don't Have I had that? I totally have had that, but I'm having it anyway. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, hopefully you've enjoyed this. This was quite an ordeal. Um, lots of stuff there that we've done, but we, it had to happen. We had to do it, and I thought it would be nice to show it as well because I've not done Fissile Fuel before, so I thought we'd do it all. And that's like relatively compact. Putting everything together did actually quite work, and to be honest, we could have probably, like all of that, we could have probably that put all of that in a row and then put the, the isotope thingy at the front there. That would have been better. In hindsight, I might have done that just to make that look a little bit cooler. But, you know, I don't know what I'm doing a lot of the time. I don't know how it's going to pan out. So there we go. Do the liking, comment, and subscribe thing if you fancy. I've been Hector. This has been Enigmatica 6, and we have this out fuel. Ah, yeah. Bye-bye.